Quadratics. All right, season six, episode one, the premiere. Uh, this video is actually going to be really probably simple for you guys. Um, it kind of steps the intensity down just a notch, which I know you're all going to appreciate. Um, we've done a ton with transformations, and I feel really good about where we're at with all of that. Um, so I think that your understanding right now of quadratics and parabolas is actually kind of a step higher than this video. Um, but just the purpose of this video is to basically get down some kind of like key terms, I guess, um, even though you've been using the key terms pretty much already. Uh, but just go ahead and um, we're going to actually define quadratic functions now um, and parabola, even though we've already been talking about them for a week. Uh, but a quadratic function, just any function in the family of y equals x squared. Again, that's just the parent. Parabola is just the shape of the graph of any quadratic function. Um, so again, things that we've mentioned or, or talked about millions of times already, they're going to seem very simple for you now. Some key features. We have talked about a vertex before for sure. Um, this is where the parabola changes direction. The roots or zeros, uh, this is somewhat of a new concept, um, but if you read this where the parabola crosses the x-axis, those are called the roots or zeros. Um, they're called zeros because that's where y equals zero. Another name for this, and you're probably already thinking this already, but where it crosses the x-axis, that's an x-intercept. So in quadratics language, an x-intercept is the same exact thing as a zero and as a root. The direction is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Uh, whether the parabola opens up or opens down, if there's been a reflection, and it opens down. So the direction just it either opens up or it opens down. And then a scale factor um, is, again, we've been talking about those how much you're stretching it or shrinking it by. So pause if you need to to get those down. But again, these are pretty much things you already know. It's going to seem very, very simple, um, which is a good thing. So hopefully you got those definitions down. Um, just a real quick example, we're going to find all of these different things. Um, the vertex we already know is right here over here at 5, negative 2. The roots or zeros, again, another word for that is x-intercept, where y equals 0. This y equals 0 thing, this is uh, definitely something that I want you to um, know and understand, and I think you do, um, but just to reiterate one more time for you, y equals zero, that's where the x-intercepts are. So here y equals zero, here y equals zero, they're called x-intercepts, they're called roots, they're called zeros, they're called the red point on this thing that I just drew where y equals zero, like it's all those same things. Um, so our roots, are in this case 4, 0 and 6, 0. Um, the direction upwards and the scale factor. Let's look for a change in x and a change in y. We have a change in x of 1, 
change in y of 2. Now normally on the parent function a change in x equates with a change of y equal to 1. But on this function we have a change in y of 2. So our scale factor is 2 over 1 or just 2 for the scale factor. There's really, I mean, we're calling them roots now, I guess, um, but again, nothing really new in, uh, in what you're seeing here, um, so this shouldn't be too much of a, too much stress for you. Um, the before class asked this question, how do I find the vertex of a parabola if I know the roots? For example, in the graph of the parabola, y equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 16, the roots or zeros are 2 and 4. What is the vertex? Uh, thing number one, this equation here looks probably very confusing for you. Uh, don't worry about that necessarily. Uh, this is just an equation in a different form than you have seen before. So disregard that completely. The important information here is the roots slash zeros slash x-intercepts are 2 and 4. So what my parabola looks like is that this point here is at 2 comma 0, this point here is at 4 comma 0. I want to know based on two things what are the coordinates of the vertex and you can probably figure out what the x-coordinate is right now just kind of by looking at it. Um, the y-coordinate is a little bit more challenging. I'm going to give you a hint. It has something to do with the scale factor. Um, see if you can figure it out for the before class, and we will go over that um, in class. As always, be sure to uh, ask questions on the question form if you have any. Um, if there's a, one of those key features you're not sure about, or if it's the before class, or something yet from transformations. I want to know what your questions are, so um, just let me know if you have any.